Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. We begin today with an update on canola. After freezing temperatures, ice and decent moisture in some areas. Joining us now is Josh Bouchong, our winter canola specialist. And Josh, what are producers most concerned about right now? Well, obviously they're concerned on how the crop handled those uh, conditions last week and especially how's it going to rebound from those events. So uh, across the uh, state, we've had some uh, varying uh, conditions where some guys got a lot more ice and some guys got hell storms and some just got mostly rain. So, but for the most part, the crop uh, survived pretty much all those conditions very well, uh, little to uh, no uh, injury at all on the canola crop so far. So uh, just kind of depends on how far along the crop was. Uh, if it was just in the bolting stage where we didn't have any uh, flowers really opened yet, we just mostly had buds, that can handle a freeze down in the upper 20s without any hardly problems. If we get a little bit further in maturity where we had some plants that were flowering when the freeze and ice storms uh, happened, uh, the canola uh, plant will react a little bit differently with the pods or the flowers that were opened. Uh, typically with freezes, we'll drop those pods uh, so we might have a little bit of gap in the racine where we don't have any pods formed during that freeze event. Uh, <clears throat> but usually the plant will compensate quite a bit. If we do drop some flowers, the plant will put on more buds usually. So it does compensate, so it's not a complete loss. Uh, some of the crops on this main stem showed some uh, water soaking marks on the stem, but most of them just showed a more or less of a physiological response where the plants that had ice on them were curved over, but now that we had some decent growing conditions, the plant started to curve back up, and it's more or less cosmetic damage. It doesn't have any real damage to it. Some of the stems might have had some cracks in it. Uh, it's usually not a big problem if the crack's not severe. Uh, it might cause some lodging later or restrict some nutrient water upflow, but for the most part, little to no damage across the state. Okay, so kind of proof positive that canola is a little more hardier than wheat when it comes to some of these concerns? It's really looking like it might be. Uh, like I said, it does compensate quite a bit. Uh, even if we did have heavy ice accumulated on the plant and we broke some of these stems, or if some of the hail storms uh, broke the stems off, at every leaf axis, it has auxiliary buds, so if it does, lose that top part of the plant, it will grow more branches and put on more buds and pods. So it might delay uh, maturity at harvest, so we might have to wait a little bit longer, but it's usually never a complete uh, crop failure, but it might have to have some more time to compensate. Okay, uh, what about insect concerns? Are you seeing aphids currently? We are starting to see some across the state, and most of the time right now through harvest, we're mostly looking for cabbage aphids. They're gonna be infecting the raceme of the plant, and when you're out scouting, you really have to look inside these bud clusters to really try to find them. I'm not finding any here, but they'll start to infest the raceme and they'll kind of spread out from there. So they might be in hot, spot, hot spots across the field. Uh, so you really have to get out and scout the best you can to see how kind of pressures you have. And typically, uh, once you have about 15% of your racemes infested, uh, you hit that threshold and we really need to get out and spray. So uh, for the most part, aphids are our main concern. We have seen false chinch bugs become a problem, so be on the lookout for those, as well as variegated cutworms we saw come in last year and cause some really rapid damage to, uh, to the pods. So be on the lookout, scout your fields regularly, uh, at least once a week would be uh, more ideal. So Okay, Josh Bouchon, thank you very much. Josh, our winter canola specialist. <laughs>